Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bitsby Trippin, back in the studio. Glad to have you guys back watching. It's been about two weeks since our last video. You know, with the Ravencoin cruise and then all the stuff that's going on with FTX, it's been a little crazy out there and it's been hard to try to find some time to actually do this video. It's a Saturday and I'm in here doing this video with you guys, but I want to bring you up to speed on how our mining build has been going. We've been building a five megawatt build. It's been literally more than a year in the making from just getting it set up from a structure standpoint, from making an expanding Bitsby Trippin, you know, as us as a company, hiring folks, getting things aligned. And I'm taking you guys through that journey with us. And uh, I want to make sure that you guys see kind of where we're at. And some of the pitfalls that we've ran into is part of that process. We've had to move a couple different sites. We thought everything was right. But now you guys have been seeing on Twitter the build as we're going. We finally got the containers moved over. We're going to take you guys through that process. And we'll get a little bit into what's going on in the space in general. But I want to keep this video very focused on the build, the five megawatt Bitcoin build. So if that interests you guys, stick around here and let's get into this. So let's talk the move. So the move was we had a couple different containers spread out over a particular area that we have, three of which was at a different substation that we thought we were going to go in at for the past year. It was kind of working through all the different permits and things that we had to get through Lo and behold, we ended up having to move those. It ended up not working out at that one particular location. And it is just what it is. When you're going through this process, you get through a few of the different permits. Everything looks like it's going to be good. And then there's like hearings and stuff with people in the area. And then it just comes down to, does folks want Bitcoin mining in that particular location or not? Does it make sense from a zoning standpoint? Zoning in the U.S. is a very like key piece you know, is it an agriculture zone with a special use permit, that kind of stuff. So anybody that's out there looking to to build a mining farm and thinking that you can just go and just drop it, it doesn't work that way. You have to figure out, even if you own the land, you have to get some level of a permit, mainly because you're scaling it up with a lot of power and you're going to make, you're, there's going to be interest in that of what that is. And you're talking both from a sound standpoint, how you're going to handle this, the look and feel of it, that kind of thing. So there's a lot that goes into the nuance of the, all that. And we, you know, we've had to work through that over the past year. That's essentially what we've been going through and making sure that everybody is aligned and everything is good with it. So we've now gotten to the stage where we're moving those containers and we'll bring you guys over some video on this of that particular process of, you know, getting a crane getting it loaded onto a truck, moving it into a new location, and then getting those into the set in, in place. Now, we had to create some level of uh, lift for those containers. We put these on roughly 12-inch blocks that we had created. We have four of those holding up the containers, and then those line right up with the service entry points for the 800-amp panels that are part of each of these containers. Now, these containers have three phase power set up for them so we bring essentially the parallels straight to the service entry points and again these containers have three separate input inputs that roughly can support up to 120 miners per service input that means that these containers can actually take up to 360 s19 miners as an example you could also put micro bt in these two but we're going to be using 480 277 volt three phase, which is a hot, just an upper, what we call medium tier power, where typical setups are 208, or 220, 240, around that range, which means you're coming down from 415. Um, so this is a little different coming 480 direct. This is why we did the video on the alpha minor power supplies to show you guys that one that can support the 277 voltage input and then that gives us a little more overhead on power because we're coming from 277 single leg that's single phase so we're taking the three phase down to single phase to those particular units and then that gives us a little more overhead and total wattage and power draw that we could do if we wanted to overclock these units and we're not really stressing the system as much so 
This is a, a unique build compared to probably what you've seen out there. Most of the stuff out there is 415, 240, at least in the US. So we are hope to bring you guys a little more detail on that once we're energized at the site. But as you can see, the site's coming together. We're now getting to the point of running wire. And on, on these particular units, it's we're running copper. So we're going right from the 2500 KVA transformers straight to those service endpoints through the parallels. And all of this stuff will be hopefully energized within the next three to four weeks maximum. We're kind of dealing with weather and it's super cold here right now as we've had a cold snap kind of situation here. But just taking you guys through some of that process. Hopefully you guys have been you know, following us on Twitter. That's where most of the stuff comes from. It's the quickest way for us to communicate with you guys and we'll continue to do that. And if you're interested in this kind of stuff or in, just interested in trying to find out more or you have folks that are looking at this current bear market with all the stuff that's going on and you're like, hey, is this the time to get into mining? Is this time to, as a group of you know, friends or if you have a company that's thinking about doing some cross hedging into this. You can always reach out to us. You know, you could drop us a line on here. We have our information down in the description. We also have a website that's going to be getting finally produced and pushed out. We already have it in the back of the scene right now, ready to go. We're waiting for a good time to deploy that. Really probably around the time that we go online with this, we'll get that out there. For you guys have more information, you want more information on something like this or some consulting work, we also can do some of that for you guys too. So like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, my dudes.